Hello and welcome to my LEGO channel and welcome to update number 6 of the Jetta Mock. As you can see, we have the city sprawled out here with the ATST, which is modified, some nice buildings, some burned buildings, and -da, the modified assault hover tank. So, first glance, you might not notice anything, but then when you look closer, you can see these tail fins and these um, front fins, I guess, whatever you want to call these, have both been enlarged, elongated, however you want to say that. Um, here we also have a look out kind of post from the, you know, top. This is modified. It might look the same, but it's actually modified. So we can stick this dude in here. Um, we also have longer turrets, but, you know, still function. And in the front of the hover tank, we have this panel. It's made bigger and it kind of slopes right into the top, which is how it is supposed to be have a little hover tank dude head popping out here. Pretty much the same stuff going on through, but we also made, uh, you know, I don't really know what to call that actually. It kind of looks like a kind of cargo hatch. Obviously it doesn't, but yeah, I guess you can call that whatever you want, but this is also pretty accurate. But yeah, so the hover tank is now modified. Um, so, pretty much now, I just need to, like, finish up the city, get some figs, add some details, and yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so, here we can see the ATSD a little bit closer. Um, you can see some of the stuff I did, like, modified the, um, grenade launcher, I guess that's what that is. Um, the eyelids, you can see different tile pattern here for stability, different cannons, Added in these guards here, um, some wires underneath, um, fixed up that stuff, added in some tiles to the legs, and whatever stuff was on the back that you guys have already seen. Um, but yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Um, also, if I tilt this up a little bit, you can see we added in some different stuff to the roof of the ATST, uh, but everything still functions. We just added in this little wire to go around the railing. Here we can see closer this thing right here. This is the moisture evaporator. The evaporator. Just come over here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, as you can see, it's movie accurate to, to the Jetta ones, um, but if we grab this, we can just rotate them if we want. Don't have to or don't not have to. That's pretty cool. Um, here we can just see some of the, you know, troopers and rebels and stuff like that. Also, over here we can get a better view, um, apologize for the gunship back there. Um, we can get a better view at this thing and this dude right here, actually. Um, this stuff, as you can see, is elongated by two full studs. Same as in the front. Um, these, you can see, have been modified to make them longer. You can see this dude's head, and this dude he just sticks in like so. You can close that if you want. Um, but otherwise, everything is pretty much the same, um, except for the control. Or not control, I don't know why I said control. The um, loading deck I uh, made with some nice tiled pieces and added in some nice tiles to the back there and I also put in a bricklink order before I forget um, which was just pretty much um, tons and tons of two by one plates for different mocks um, some like brown dark brown tan dark tan you know sand green kind of stuff like that um, also have enough pieces, um, ordered the pieces to build another crate, so we can stick that also on the back. Whew, that was a mouthful. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Move this around the back. You can see it's 
Lucy, um, Jin or so, kind of. I'll just pick her up and put her on the roof. Flips it on her. So she just has a torso, which is um, mimicking her, you know, kind of brownish jacket with the gray undershirt. We have some silver arms and some, you know black legs, and I gave it a dark brown, um, you know, crotch piece, whatever you want to call that, connector piece, because um, she has a holster, a brown holster on her black pants, um, and this is just like a paper cutout right here to kind of mimic her cloth, and then, yeah, so, um, it looks like Jan or so in my opinion, and I'm not gonna spend 16, 17 bucks on one that, in my opinion, doesn't look like Jin Urso. So, yeah. I did order Cassian Andor, though, because I didn't have any pieces to make him. So, and also he had his, you know, blue kind of parka. I don't um, know why so, that's pretty much this update. You can kind of see, uh, you know, over this roof kind of view. Um, I will be getting the Rebel and Imperial Battle Packs sometime soon probably once i finish the once i finish the mock and when i need to add in those you know minifig things that we call minifigs um, i'll probably buy those sets and then you know just add in those minifigures to complete it um but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any ideas for what i could use those death troopers for you know give me ideas i guess so um yeah thanks for watching see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>